The iPhone is finished. It's no longer interesting. The updates are no longer significant. Nobody cares. Well, that's the overall narrative right now when it comes to the tech world, I feel like. Because, you know, back in the day, like, we kind of got to get a history lesson in order to, you know, comprehend the full meaning of this topic. Like, back in the day when I got into tech, that was 11 years ago, uh, when you were looking at iPhones, and there was iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4, if you actually look at the scale, at the scope of the upgrades that iPhones were getting, like, they were enormous, okay? Like, iPhone 4 was a complete redesign. It got a huge upgrade when it came to screen, also speed, also the way it felt, the way it worked, the camera was way different, it finally got flash, it got new functions, like it was overall a brand new experience with every iPhone you were getting. But now times changed, iPhones are being supported for more, longer and longer and longer, and on top of that, like, they are not getting redesigned on a, you know, yearly basis or stuff like that. When it comes to the upgrade of iPhone 13 Pro to the 12 Pro and stuff like that, like, many people will say that, yeah, they were upgrades, but I don't even know which ones because these phones work the same. They take similar photos. They are overall similar. Hence, the iPhone is dying. And it's just, you know, pointless to get into tech, pointless to talk about that stuff because the upgrades are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And well, it's really hard to disagree with that fully because yes, of course, the iPhone is maturing now and Apple is trying to find new ways to, you know, get you into subscription modes and stuff like that because they know that iPhone is not getting as many upgrades as it used to because it's that mature, it's that good that, you know, it's hard to reinvent something all the time every year. Of course, it's, it's natural. But here's the thing. Like, even though these upgrades are smaller, they still exist. And it's not like iPhone has peaked, the smartphones have peaked, and now upgrades mean literally nothing. Because here's the thing, like, this is our main computer right now. For most people, you know, you take photos with that, notes, you work of that, you want the best speed, you want the best design, you want the most premium feeling, the best features. And with every, every upgrade, like comes some improvements that may make a difference in your life. Like for example, camera differences. Sure, from generation to generation, they are not huge. But if you actually reconsider the fact that, you know, we cannot go back in time and take better photos than we did, you know, at a certain point, you wanna have the best camera on your phone since probably this is your main camera that you are using. And with every smartphone generation, come camera upgrades, which are better and better. Now we want better night photography, we want better zooms, we want better focusing abilities, uh, using intelligence even more when it comes to improving, for example, cinematic mode and overall photo quality. We want to recreate the photos that, you know, look better and make them look better, sharper, more colorful. And that's exactly what Apple and many other manufacturers are trying to do. On top of that, there's always, there's always a room for more speed. Like as long as things are not getting instant, like there's always a room for more speed and more improvement when it comes to power. On top of that, the design, even though it's not changed dramatically, usually there also comes a time for a redesign because hey, people just wanna have have or have a feeling that they have something brand new, something different. Maybe they don't want to use the same phone over and over. Hence, you got the upgrade in that area. On top of that, the audio can always be better. The efficiency can always be better. And so many other features that I can't even think of. Like, that's the whole point. Yes, the iPhone is kind of peaking in some way, but on the other, not really, because there is always some room for improvement. It's just the fact that this room is getting smaller and smaller, hence people are getting less and less interested when it comes to, you know, iPhone or an overall phone premiere. Although I can be kind of careful with that since, you know, iPhone 13 is selling pretty decently. I mean, back in a day, a year ago, I didn't really see that many people with iPhone 12 series, at least here in this country, okay? And now, like, everyone I meet has some kind of an iPhone 13 model. It's either 13 Pro or 13 Pro, the most popular ones here, I guess. And it's just crazy to see how many people are actually, you know, getting into iPhones. So, like, yes, maybe we are not upgrading every year, but still, once we do, we want to have the latest and the greatest. Hence, the iPhone updates come to our help.